Liebe Genossinnen und Genossen, bevor wir weitermachen mit dem nächsten Kapitel, würde ich gerne die Gelegenheit geben zu einem Grußwort, nämlich an, ich hoffe, ich spreche das richtig aus, Malalai Joya aus Afghanistan. Sie war jüngste Parlamentarierin Afghanistans und ist heute mutige Aktivistin für Frieden und Frauenrechte in Afghanistan gegen die Warlords und die NATO-Truppen. Sie möchte gerne zu uns sprechen und diese Gelegenheit wollen wir ihr jetzt geben. Bitte schön. Hello to everyone. Heartfelt thanks to the left party who invited me here to bring the message of the suffering and oppressed people of Afghanistan to you. Today men and women of my country today men and women of my country do not have liberation at all and still suffer from fascism of fundamentalism of different plans and occupation of US and NATO. I think no need for me to describe the condition of Afghanistan in details the wave of asylum seekers to Europe and other countries that are mostly youngsters who accept big risks to arrive here is very strong evidence of worse political, economic, and social conditions. I think the Western governments are clearly responsible for current catastrophe of Afghanistan and the wave of terrorism and asylum seekers is the outcome of their past 15 years of wrongdoing in Afghanistan, Iraq, Syria, Libya, Yemen, and elsewhere. <laughs> while, over, while over 60 percent of Afghans are jobless and destitute, they either join the Taliban, ISIS, or other terrorist groups who pay up to $600 per month for their fighters. Those who are deported from the West get addicted or join the ranks terrorists to survive. I strongly condemn the anti-asylum seeker policy of European countries, the human rights values, international conventions, and most importantly, the major role they played in this crisis obliged them to help those in need. They must behave according to international law of refugee to them. Dear friends, the so-called war on terror is the biggest lie of the century. Terrorism is, a still, terrorism is a still a strategic weapon in the hands of the White House to destabilize Asia and block the economic and military pro progress of Russia, China, and other rivals, while Asia's fast-growing power is seen as a threat to American empire. Their Asian strategy is designed in a way to make this content a place burning in the wave of war, terrorism, and instability, and this play policy has directly affected Europe too. Many of you may hear about the so-called mothers of all bombs, the biggest non-nuclear bomb of US that was recently dropped in Afghanistan. I believe democracy never come by mothers of all bomb, by cluster bomb, white phosphorus, or depleted uranium. As long as, as long as our country is occupied by the US and NATO, our people will not experience security and stability. Dear friends, during decades of the war, the progressive forces and individuals in Afghanistan did a struggle and resistance against occupation and fundamentalism, which is hope for the future of Afghanistan. Your solidarity and support always gave me more hope and courage to continue to this struggle. We need your solidarity, political and financial support even more now. At the end, I want to send salute to my Kurdish colleague. We are fighting for the same struggle. Thank you. The 
The silence, the silence of the good people is worse than the action of the bad people. Long live freedom, long live international solidarity, long live social justice. Thank you.